On arrival in Caesarea in the autumn of 57 AD, Paul appears before the Roman governor. Paul is to be tried for being a leader of the Nazarene group who has desecrated the temple by bringing Gentiles into the inner courts. Festus the governor allows him to be sent to Rome to plead his case before Caesar. We boarded a ship and put out to sea towards our first stop at Sidon. The next day we arrived at Sidon and Julius, in kindness to Paul, allowed him to go to his friends so they might provide for his needs. From Sidon we put out to sea again and passed to the Lee of Cyprus because the winds were against us. Sailing across the open sea, we landed at Myra. In Myra, we boarded another ship. We made slow headway for many days and had difficulty arriving off Nidus. When the wind did not allow us to hold our course, we sailed to the Lee of Cyprus, opposite Salmoni. We moved along the coast with difficulty and came to a place called Fair Havens. Much time had been lost and sailing had already become dangerous, and since the harbor was unsuitable to winter in, the majority decided that we should sail on, hoping to reach a harbor at Phoenix on the island of Crete. When a gentle south wind began to blow, they thought they had obtained what they wanted. As they weighed anchor and sailed along the shore of Crete, before very long, a hurricane force wind swept down from the island. The ship was caught in the storm and couldn't head into the wind, so we gave way to it and were driven along. Paul told the men to keep up their courage because an angel of the God I serve came to me last night and said, not one of you will be lost. Only the ship will be destroyed. On the 15th day, the ship struck a sandbar and was destroyed. Everyone made it safely to land and found out the island was called Malta. The islanders showed us unusual kindness. There was an estate nearby that belonged to Publius, the chief official of the island. He welcomed us to his home and for three days entertained us hospitably. His father was sick in bed, suffering from fever and dysentery. Paul went in to see him and after prayer, placed his hands on him and healed him. When this had happened, the rest of the sick on the island came and were healed. After three months, we left Malta on a ship they provided. We put in at Syracuse and stayed there three days. On the fourth day, we set sail and arrived at Regium. The next day, the south wind came up, and on the following day, we reached Pataoli. There we found some brothers who invited us to spend a week with them. We sailed to the Forum of Opius, where we united with some brothers from Rome. At the sight of these men, Paul thanked God and was encouraged. We stopped next at three taverns, where we were again with the brothers. We left for Rome, and when we arrived, Paul was allowed to live by himself with a soldier to guard him. Three days later, he called the leaders of the Jews. He said, I want you to know that God's salvation has been sent to the Gentiles and they will listen. For two whole years, Paul stayed there in his own rented house and welcomed all who came to see him. Boldly and without hindrance, he preached the kingdom of God and taught about the Lord Jesus Christ.